Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the, uh, the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 26, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you get access to all our trades, basically our signal service, our full technical analysis of all the commodities on, on uh, Itero, and also access to our live streams. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join uh, anytime. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar. And uh, as you can see, we have drifted even further. And this is putting a lot of pressure, uh, uh, upward pressure, I should say, on most commodities and also precious metals. It hasn't had an effect on gold yet, but if we fall further than this, then if we break these uh, previous uh, lows, then watch out, then we are gonna see a massive rally in, in oil, we also see them in other commodities and also in the precious metals. Uh, gold will rally significantly after, after that. But we are getting very overstretched. We are almost oversold uh, in this market. It is um, it's a big ask uh, for this to break um, 91.65. I think that we are going to rally at some stage. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or on Friday, but we are probably going to rally towards the 50 moving average. And that will, of course, have a negative effect uh, on uh, the other commodities, probably especially oil, which is uh, fairly significantly overvalued at this point. So we'll start by looking at oil. And yesterday we broke the previous highs of $43. And now we are at 45.73, which is, is quite substantial uh, when considering that we're an economy that basically is, is stalled, uh, a raging pandemic. So I think this is mainly due to optimism. It's, n it's not due to demand. It's certainly not. Um, I think reality will set uh, settle in um, at some stage up here between this and, and 50. I, I, there has to be a war in the Middle East in order to get this to 50 at this point. Uh, but uh, 46, maybe, and then turn around. These technical indicators are are looking uh, far more um, flat at this point uh, than they are bullish. We are overbought, so keep that in mind that we are at 71. And we also had a pullback today. This could be the warning that we have been waiting for, something similar to this. If this fall further than similar to this and makes this uh, inverted hammer, then there is a sign that we most likely will target these previous highs again at the 43.58. And if that breaks, then we'll see a tidal wave all the way down towards the 50 moving average at $40. So this could be the new range. It could be that we'll, uh, we'll trade between this area and the 50 moving average. That could be the new range. That is roughly uh, between five ten dollars, and uh, that is a very normal range for oil. So it is to be seen. Uh, a negative uh, pullback from uh, there's still time, uh, still time left on the, today's trades. So if this pullbacks further and we get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then that is a big warning sign for oil that we are going to go lower. So let's look at copper. Copper is extremely resilient, uh, but I think this is basically the last hurrah for copper. We can see the stochastic, we can see the CCI, uh, we are, can also look at the RSI. We are on the edge of being our bot, and these two indicators are becoming very negative. Uh, it is still the MACD that is very positive, it's very bullish, and, um, and I think it's just a matter of time before we see something like this. A pullback towards at least uh, 3.18, that is is not um, too optimistic. I would uh, rather see this pull all the way back towards the 50 moving average in or, and then rally again. Uh, but higher than this, 
I would be really, really surprised if we got higher than this. But I've been saying that for quite some time. I've been waiting for a move like this for uh, for weeks now, but it hasn't happened. I thought it would happen here, but we rallied again. Uh, but this is not a very good can looking candlestick. It's, um, it is uh, showing signs of exhaustion and uh, and uh, considering that we are turning around in these uh, technical indicators, we'll probably see this, hopefully. No interest in buying this. I am certainly selling copper because I think it's still way, way, way overvalued. So if you look at gold, So gold has rallied a little bit today and pulled back at this point. I think that uh, we are going to see a rally maybe tomorrow or Friday, but we're not even getting close to the 200 moving average. We haven't touched that yet. We are basically, we got down to 1800. Uh, buyer got, uh, came in there, but we haven't tested the 200. So still there are two major resistant areas here that we have not pierced at all. So uh, keeping that in mind, uh, there's a lot of resistant you know, support here, and these technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still very, very bearish, uh, but uh, the CCI is turning around, and we are on the edge of being oversold. So it may take some time, probably a few days, but we'll at least rally, I think, towards this area, around 1,836, if that breaks. That opens the door to this area here, which is or this area here, I should say. That's 1,850, and then to 1,872, and then the 50 moving average. So there's a quite a lot of resistant areas in between the 250 move and the 50 moving average. But I think this was the right trade to enter here in order for it to go long. Of course, if we break the 200 moving average, then we drop certainly down to 1750 and uh, then to 1700. And uh, yes, that is what is happening in gold. I think this is a very good buy-in with a stop loss right underneath and targeting the very highest for the long. That is a lot of business uh, traders have gone in at this price level. So we'll start looking at cocoa which is a very promising trade. As you can see, we rallied all the way to 2.818 yesterday, broke down, made this inverted hammer, and this is a clear sign that we are going to go lower. And as you can see, we have fallen substantially today. We have been pulled back a little bit, but this is a major fall in this, uh, in this commodity. And the question is where we are going. Uh, first of all, we'll run into support here at 2.7. Uh, we pierced that today uh, and and uh, and uh, rallied, uh, so we're trading above this price level. But when we start trading underneath this, um, then that opens the door to roughly this area around two point six three six, and then all the way down to this area two point five. And two point five is probably where we'll f find major support. It will take a few days uh, when. The, yeah, it will take a few days, but this is a parabolic move. It's uh, it is going to have a pullback and then go higher or even go lower. We'll see technically what happens. But um, I started shorting this around this area here, and I'm not really regretting this because I think this is going to go significantly lower. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to join our uh, support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our. To your newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you get access to all of our trades, all our full technical analysis, and also our live streams. So, good luck and thank you very much.